For the UK, it's another landmark in the spread of COVID and it's causing alarm. More than 50,000 people who tested positive have died. Britain's total of dead is now the highest in Europe. Nearly 600 deaths on Wednesday overtakes figures since May in the first wave. Every death is a, is a, is a tragedy and we, we mourn uh, everybody who's gone and, and, and our feelings are with the, uh, their families as, and, and friends as well. We're not out of the woods yet. Uh, it does still require everybody to follow the guidance. Elsewhere in Europe, the spread is on the increase too. In Italy, where hotels are now being used to cope with an overspill of patients, the number of cases has now passed one million. That's despite increased lockdown restrictions, such as here in Florence. Spain's number of dead within 24 hours has increased to more than 400. It's the highest since the second wave began. France is now using mobile units to treat non-COVID patients because of demands on its hospitals. Germany as well continues to struggle. Now we have two wards that are pretty much at full capacity and where we are barely able to do our jobs. Hungary is the latest country to increase its lockdown measures. Its parliament has called a three-month state of emergency that imposes an overnight national curfew. On the ground, countermeasures in the fight against COVID increase and the race to introduce vaccination programmes is also accelerating. The European Union has signed a contract with Pfizer, which has developed the front-runner vaccine with BioNTech. The EU says it's buying 300 million doses. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera.